In this video, I'll be building on my previous video on Synology Drive and cover the on-demand sync feature. When on-demand sync is enabled, files are downloaded to your computer only when you open or modify the file or if you specifically pin the file locally to your computer. This is a great feature that allows you to pick and choose what files are saved locally on your computer, saving you valuable disk space. Note that on-demand sync is only available on Windows 10 and above using Synology Drive 2.0 or higher. For macOS users, on-demand sync is currently not available, but was officially announced for DSM 7.1, which should be coming in the first half of 2022. Synology covered this as well in their Synology 2022 and Beyond event, specifically in their home video, which I'll link to in the description below. Fast forward to 10 minutes and 25 seconds into the video to hear the coverage of the on-demand sync feature coming soon to macOS. Before setting up Synology Drive Client and configuring on-demand sync on a Windows 10 system, I've done some initial setup on my Synology NAS using my previous video as a guide, and I'll link to that video in the description below for your reference. The main things I've set up are a non-administrator account that I'll be using when configuring Synology Drive Client. Install Synology Drive Server from the Package Center. Configure Quick Connect to remotely access Synology Drive Server. Create a video shared folder as a team folder that I'll be connecting to and add some files to the videos folder to use when demonstrating on-demand sync. Now I'll run through the setup of Synology Drive Client on Windows 10 by first downloading it from the Synology Download Center, which I'll link to in the description below, and install the application. I'd like to run Synology Drive Client, so I'll leave the option checked and click Finish. From the Synology Drive Client Welcome window, I'll click on Start Now, then enter in the Quick Connect ID, username, and password that I set up earlier. I'll also leave the Enable SSL Data Transmission Encryption box checked and click Next. From this window, I'll make sure Sync Task is enabled and click Next once again. Here, I'll need to choose what folders I want to sync between the NAS and my computer and I'll select the Videos Team folder and sync it to a subfolder under my Profiles Local Videos folder. This is also where we can enable on-demand sync, which is enabled by default. Nothing else needs to change, so I'll click Done to complete the setup, then Next through a few of these windows, and finally, I'll click Open Folder to bring up the local folder that Synology Drive is being synced to. Note also that if you didn't enable on-demand sync during the initial setup, you won't see this cloud icon when viewing the sync tasks in Synology Drive Client. If you do need to enable on-demand sync, select the sync tasks you'd like to work on, then click on Sync Rules. Then from this window, select the Sync Mode tab, then check the box to enable on-demand sync to save disk space. To see how on-demand sync works, we can have a look at the status of the files. Currently, all files have this status icon, which means that the file is available, but not taking up any local storage. If I bring up properties for one of these files, we can also confirm that the file isn't taking up any space on the disk. If I double-click on the file, the status changes to this icon, indicating that the file has been downloaded to the local computer. Now, if I check on its properties once again, we see that the file is saved locally to the computer and is now taking up space on the disk. We could leave things as is or free up space once again by right-clicking on the file, selecting Synology Drive, and then the option to free up space. Now, if we check on the properties for the file, we can see that it isn't taking up space on the disk once again. The last option we have is to permanently pin a file to the local computer, and we can do that by right-clicking on the file, select Synology Drive, and then the option to pin local copy permanently, which changes the status to this icon here. 
Now the file is pinned locally and available to view offline. Properties for the file also confirms that it is saved locally and taking up space on the disk. Hopefully this video helped you in understanding how Synology Drive's on-demand sync works, and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also, consider subscribing to this channel and check out my other videos listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.